guess this is bound to happen if it wasn't already. Soon there'll be a street legal, zero octane, hyper wing pocket rocket hitting our streets. Meet the Cooper Urban Rebel concept car with a spoiler so big that even Vin Diesel would gush with giddy joy. Featuring 320 kilowatts of peak power, 0 to 100 k's per hour in 3.2 seconds, Cooper plans on bringing out this small car in 2025. It kind of reminds me of a bit of a Peugeot 208 meets Ford Fiesta with its athletic proportions, sharp angular lines and mouse-like overall structure. What do you think of it? I guess the car modders and hoons will be busting to get their hands on this. However, the Cooper Urban Rebel concept will be unveiled in full during the IAA Munich International Motor Show, an expected release date at 2025 or around when perhaps the Tesla Roadster, Roadster gets released in Australia. Yeah, that was almost four years ago when they unveiled this beautiful thing and as per Elon's tweet, will hopefully hit America in 2023. So maybe in Australia, 2025, 2026, who knows? Last week, I barely spoke about South Australia's ramblings around electric vehicles and the Victorian-like distance charge. So let's take a deeper dive today and unpack what we know. The South Australian government's proposed electric vehicle strategy emulates perhaps the best aspects of New South Wales and Victorian incentives with a $3,000 rebate for the first 6,000 vehicles. Gosh, that wouldn't last very long in New South Wales or Victoria, but 3K is 3K, right? Importantly, they're going to delay the Victorian light distance tax until July 2027, or until EVs reach 30% of new motor vehicle sales in South Australia, whichever is first. Don't get me started on how wrong that aspect of this tax is, needless to say, is very much at the forefront of my mind as I drive my EV everywhere and knowing that I pay for roads with my taxes and do so without emitting any fumes, noise, actually improve the world in which we live in. Mm, just go, go check out the video up here. It, yeah, I, I, I need to stop saying about that, but mm, I'm thinking about it. From the South Australian government's own paper on the matter, they detailed in December last year that they've committed to spend more than $36 million to encourage people into EVs through inc increased rapid charges, uh, shifting government sectors to electric forms of transport, uh, encouraging doing some programs around getting fleet buyers on board, and a few more things. But as Brody Schmidt from The Driven points out, with 60,000 cars sold in South Australia in 2020, the incentive of $3,000 for the first 6,000 lucky buyers would only account for around 10% of purchases if they're all claimed within the time frame that this is available. My two cents? This incentive is good but too small in scale. Just 6,000 one-off purchases incentive represents just 0.4% of the 1.48 million vehicles registered in South Australia. It's a tiny fraction of what we need to do to clean our air and decarbonize our transport sector. That and the threat of that road distance charge by 2027 um, or 30%, whatever happens first, the majority of buyers are already turned off by the idea of this. So whilst you've got this carried out here, trying to incentivize someone into what are quite expensive cars right now because of all the different taxes we pay on cars, it's not going to convince people to make the jump to hopefully decarbonize our world. I really want to celebrate this announcement, but I feel that I can't because it just seems like a bit of a token effort just to appease someone somewhere like this. Hey, hey, quick, quick. We need to do something around an EV strategy and projects. We promised it back in the sand. We've done nothing. What have you done? Let's just copy New South Wales. How many? No, no, just, just 6,000. That will do. And finally, check out Hyundai Emotional's next generation RoboTaxi. Based on the all-electric Hyundai Ioniq 5, this car can safely operate without a driver, meaning that it's working at level 4 autonomy. On the exterior, the souped-up Ioniq 5 has more than 30 sensors such as cameras, radar and lidar, all working together to provide a 360-degree view for short and ultra-long range. Emotional say that there are safety redundancies across 
every function like navigation, steering, braking and power for a safe and smooth ride every time. And if need be, they'll be able to actually remotely pilot the Ionic 5 should they encounter an unusual road situation. I find it really interesting how car makers like Hyundai are teaming up with companies like Motional compared to say Tesla who are doing everything in-house. A thing that I didn't know was that Motional was the first fully autonomous uh, company to conduct a cross-country drive in the United States. They also have launched the world's first robo-taxi pilot and uh, operation of the world's most established public robo-taxi fleet conducting more than 100,000 public rides. Seriously, I didn't know about these guys. Waymo? Yeah. Emotional? Nah. Okay. Perhaps they'll be the next big name and so more detail will be known when they uh, do a bit more unveiling at the IAA Mobility in Munich, September 7 to 12. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you have, please do consider giving me a subscribe. It's absolutely free. Smash that like button, leave me a comment, and share it on your socials. If you want to support the channel at the next level, from as little as two dollars fifty per month, join me over here on Patreon, where you get early access to news, polls, behind the scenes, and a lot more. And as per usual, please be good and be green.